today we're going to be taking a look at this LEGO Hidden Side set. This is LEGO Set 70422, the Shrimp Shack Attack. It costs $50 in the United States. We're going to take a look at the minifigures first, then the vehicle, and then the actual diner. The first character we are looking at today is Jack. Now, it has this new hat hood combo. I gotta say it looks really, really good, and I really do like it. Uh, it has some nice printing on the torso, as well as the back of the torso. Pants are pretty basic. And his phone has this cool little ghost detail here. Perfect for uh, ghost hunting. Overall, it's a pretty solid figure. Next up, we have Parker, and it, yet again, she has a new hat hair combo. It looks really, really well done. And also, she has two faces in the set. She has this smiling face and this, 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 I don't really know what to say. Concerned? Uh, annoyed? Like, what the heck are you doing? Uh, and also, I forgot to mention that uh, Jack also has the second facial expression. Uh, it has some really nice printing at the torso. Same with the back, and I, uh, I, I really do like the way this uh, torso looks, and the legs look pretty good, and her phone uh, is upside down. So here is the phone, and honestly, it's a really nice color. I don't know what this color is, and it has this nice, cool little ghost thing, and overall, it's a very, very solid minifigure. Next up, let's look at Spencer very quickly now. Spencer, anyway, so here is Spencer, and honestly, it looks very, very cool. I like how... They molded the white and it into transparent. I just overall it just looks really cool. And honestly, it looks really cute. If they made this into a plush, they made Yoda into a plush. Why not make this into a plush? And yeah, compared to a minifigure, here it is next to Jack. And yeah, it it's pretty cool. Next up we have this this chef uh, with, with with a with a machete for, for some reason. I don't know if this is a new uh face uh, print, but I do like it. There is no alternative face, obviously. Has some real nice printing on the torso. Nothing really interesting on the back. The, the legs have some pretty good printing. And also, this is the first minifigure we're taking a look at that has the new hidden side function. Ooh, scary. And for what the hidden side feature is, it includes this Garmadon torso, where if you don't know how that works, you just take off the head, take off the head, and then it just connects on to that torso and also has this cool little face and then you put the hat on and now it is uh, ghoulified. And yeah, overall some really good printing on the torso and head and overall it's a very good looking minifig. Next up we have the waitress and honestly it looks really good. Uh, it has a very shocked expression and actually has two faces. One that is also calm, uh, has some nice printing on the torso and legs, nothing really interesting on the back and her accessory is this plate which is a two by two modified plate and a mug and she you just put it there's a little anti-stud in the middle and you just put it in like that and she is the second person to have the hidden side ooh spooky ghoulified thing and what you just do is that take off the head and then you just get this hidden side head and she looks like that and it's kind of spooky i like this new hair piece because it's this nice uh transparent new mold and i just overall really like it last up we have this person right here who is uh eating a hot dog and has this cool little printing thing it looks more like a watermelon and pizza to me uh nothing really interesting on the back uh he has two facial expressions he has this one where he's about to puke or i'm assuming he's eating he has a smiley face in which i really do like and yeah Overall, this is a pretty solid figure, there's nothing else to talk about, and yeah, let's get into the actual set. Let's take a look at this vehicle, shall we? I have no idea what this vehicle is supposed to be, but okay. Uh, it has this, I'm guessing this is like a ghost hunting machine, I don't know. Uh, overall, it looks very interesting, uh, it has a sticker here, sticker here, and sticker here. I did not do a good job with the sticker over here. And has this ghost hunting thing, I assume. I don't know what it's for. I'm guessing it's to, to shoot a ghost. You you get it, and it just goes pew, 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 pew. I, I don't know. I don't know. This is a printed tile, and uh, you could fit two minifigures in here. Let's put in the two main characters, shall we? So we can get Jack in here. And let's get... Parker in here, 
And also, there's also a little uh, stunt there that you could put Spencer. And it looks really good. Uh, this doesn't move as much because Spencer's there. And yeah, it's a little fun uh, mobile. Now, it is time to take a look at the diner. So let's start at this little corner right here. Here. So this little corner right here doesn't have a lot of detail here. We have this sticker here. This sticker here uh, has this has this little well, I'm not supposed to show that uh, has a stool stool bench here. I'm assuming it's some place to sit. It could be some place to put your drink down, which is why there is a soda here. There is nothing on the inside of the barrel. And over here we have this washing thing i i don't know what it is and up top here we have the sign and i love the way they built this sign using the new heart bricks that they introduced last year during lego movie 2 it has four stickers here we got two stickers for the diner sticker for the sign and the sticker that says open 24 hours and it has this very nice shrimp here and overall it's a really good looking build there's also right over here a door to the inside we got some got some moss growing in in the middle here we have this sandy area here we got three stickers here representing old decaying wood we got a sticker right here for old decaying wood we have this fresh seafood sign and overall it looks very good and also you could open up all these doors here which i'm assuming is meant to be windows and you can see the inside of the actual build which is pretty cool. Over here, we have this little balcony thing leading up to the top of the diner. We got these nice one by three printed tiles of old wood. We have a life vest, some roots growing in here, a tree. And behind here, we have a, a window as well as bin full of an egg, chicken leg, and two fishes. And you could just store those back in there, however you want. And behind here, we have the interior. And honestly, I really do like it. We have two frying pans here. We got two drawers here. This, what I'm assuming, is meant to be an oven. Possibly, I don't know. Uh, has this contraption here. I don't know what it is. There's a spoon. And f over here, we have this little table area here. We got some ketchup, mustard, coffee machine. And what... Uh, it's supposed to be something over here. Uh, it's something for the hidden side game. I don't, I don't know. And then up top at the roof, we have nothing interesting. We have two barrels here. We got two sitting areas, and this one right here has a cool little feature where if you spin this, it spins this area right here. Something for the hidden side game. I don't know how it works, but yeah, that, that, that's something worth mentioning here now let's get into the hidden side spooky ghost uh first thing you want to do is remove move this to the side revealing this weird looking mouth there is a little thing here to make this go up this crab i was about to say crab this shrimp here uh goes to the side revealing this very creepy hidden side thing and the open 24 hour sign turns it to an eye uh there's not really that much to say it's very spooky kind of it's not really that spooky and i'm i don't think anyone will display it like this and the hidden side stuff actually uh it hides it pretty fine you can't see this too from the red here and you can see the weird stuff of the side of the shrimp as well as the 24 hour sign but other than that you could just easily remove that you could remove those parts and just don't talk about that. And this would work perfectly in a city. So, overall, I think this is a very, very, very good Lego set. It works perfectly in a Lego city if you're starting to build a Lego city. It works perfectly fine. The hidden side features, you could just easily remove those. And the minifigure selection is very well done. Uh, I don't I don't really have any negative sources set. And I, I really like it, and overall, it's a very good set. I highly recommend you pick this up before the Lego Hidden Side theme is over. I will see you guys later. Bye.